Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Woodshop. Today we're gonna go over a problem I'm having with my laser. So how did we get here? So I was cutting a bunch of things on the laser and I realized I am not cutting through anything like I normally am. The power seemed like it wasn't there. I was etching, but it wouldn't cut. I was trying to cut through some quarter inch plywood, which this can do easily and I wasn't even getting thicker than about a 16th of an inch. So what I decided to do was put some tape down underneath the head of the laser and do a pulse on the Rebuta controller. That allows me to see what kind of laser beam is actually coming out of the laser. And this is what I'm getting right out of the head, these circles, and that is not correct. What does a circle laser mark mean from a laser? Of course, I naturally hit up Google. What does a circle dot coming out of a laser head mean? Nothing was really definitive on what the problem was. So thank the Lord I have a laser with amazing customer service, because if I didn't, I'd be up a creek without a paddle. I have an Eon laser, it's the Mira 9. With this laser comes support, so I'm gonna go on their website, give them a call, and hopefully get a human who's an American, and uh, they can walk me through the steps on figuring out what's wrong with this and how to fix it. What's awesome here is they have a phone number right here on their website, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna give them a call. We'll see if we can get a human and uh, hopefully get a diagnosed. Well, here's their phone number. We'll give them a call. Help yes, I have a Eon laser and I'm having an issue with it. Uh, the laser is not outputting the way it should, and when I put a piece of tape underneath the nozzle, it's shooting in a circle pattern rather than a dot pattern. Okay, and what is your name, sir? My name is Ben Myers. Okay, good. Just a moment. Thank you. Hey, David. It's Ben Myers. You got your, uh, yep, you got your tube? I did. Yes, sir. Yes, I am ready. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to call you in a few minutes from my uh, tech support cell phone so we can do a FaceTime. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. The first thing, the first thing we'll do, um, I'm going to show you a, a video that I need you to record. Okay. And, uh, and then we'll you know, I'll hang up, let you record that. You can send it over so I can review and then we can go from there. Okay, perfect. Will do. Okay, awesome. Should it, okay. Just, just thinking about it, should I uh, remove the water from the uh, chiller? First, or is that part of that video? Um, we, yeah, we are gonna. You don't we need to do it necessarily from the chiller. Um, I, we'll show. I'll show you that on on Facetime. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Now, I did previously call them about a few days ago because of this issue. I just wanted to show you on camera the customer support that they give. That first lady had no clue who I was and got me to the right person, and that person. David, who's gonna assist us, is going to FaceTime me to show me exactly how to fix this issue. Now we've already diagnosed it over the phone that it is a bad tube, so they've sent it to me, and let's check it out. Here's some text messages I went back and forth with David on the previous conversation I called for just to uh, identify that it was the tube and receiving the tube. So this is the replacement tube they sent me. It's the exact same one I already have. It is a Reese brand, and from what I understand, that is the brand you want in your laser. So here he is, he's FaceTiming right, right now. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, man, how are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. All right, so I don't have a nine uh, in the shop right now to go on, on video with you so I'm just going to show you an example basically just using a seven so it's going to look a little different but I'm going to show you what, what you need to do the video is going to be the same regardless okay so um, basically what you got to do here is thank you bye bye so there we go that is our first phone call FaceTime with them they just need some warranty video 
and I'm gonna take that for them and then I'm gonna do a time lapse of me changing this out because I don't wanna show you how to do it because I've never done it myself. He's gonna walk me through. But that is the kind of uh, quality I'm getting with this machine and another reason why I really back this machine because of the customer service because really, if that didn't come with this machine, I would have no clue what I'm doing back here. So let me get that video done, watch this time lapse of me changing it out and then we'll cut something uh, hopefully successfully after our tube is changed. All right, so I'm finished putting the tube in. It was really quick and pretty straightforward. Very simple, especially with the help of David on FaceTime. Any question I had, he showed me exactly how because he had a machine on his end so I can watch what he did as I did what I did. So I've just finished and we did do some tests with a pulse and the pulse is coming about back solid. So it looks like our tube is good. Um, we did not have to drain the cooler to do so. I just drain the tube from these tubes up here. So don't buy yourself any more distilled water. You don't need it for the mirror nine at least. So now I've got to go ahead and align every single mirror again. Anytime you change the tube, you have to align every single mirror. That's going to take longer than it took me to install the tube. So let me go it's align all those mirrors and then we'll do a test cut and uh, make sure we're hundred percent. All right, so I got the laser back in its spot, all put back together, just aligned every mirror. So let's make the first cut with the new tube and see if it works. So we're just gonna do a simple circle right here and turn on the air and start. We're finished. And we're good. So we fixed it. So I hope this video helped you figure out why you're shooting a circle and not a dot. It is a defective or old worn out tube. Thankfully, I have an Eon laser and they walked me through troubleshooting process, exactly how to get it fixed and uh, get it back up and running. I can't recommend Eon enough. It's been a fantastic laser so far over the last year. I use it almost every day. It is the most used machine in my shop. So take a look at Eon. I put links down in the description below. If you give them a call, mention Myers Witch Shop. Take a serious look at Eon. And not only are you getting a great machine, you're also getting the customer service. And especially if you don't have anybody else to give you a hand, like I had no idea. Walk me through exactly how to fix it via FaceTime. Customer service doesn't get better than that. So although the Eon is a little bit higher than other quality machines, I think it's well worth it for the customer service. Peace of mind and a direct phone call to an, a native English speaking person uh, is a big deal to me. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and give a thumbs up. Happy lasering. I can't recommend Eon. Woo, I didn't, I didn't put the wheels back down.